So there's less than 40 days to go until the Theme Park Worldwide USA road trip and me and Alex are here to have a bit of a sit down and talk about the trip, aren't we? Can't wait, so excited, it's going to be amazing. It is going to be great. Around. So it's starting on the 10th of June 2019 all the way through until the 2nd of July. Of course, it's been a few months now since we first announced the trip, but there's actually been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Preparation, really. We're exhausted all together. with all the preparation work, but it's definitely <laughs> worth it. You're going to see all that preparation broken down before your very eyes very shortly. Yeah, that's the thing. So it's just a matter of we're going to sit down, go through the parks, and most importantly, the dates that we're going to be at the parks. Because I know there's a lot of you out there that have been asking what dates we're going to be at certain theme parks. And that is what this video is going to be all about. So we're going to have a bit, bit of a chat about that. Say so the parks, what we're going to be at on that date, along with the opening hours for that park as well. So yeah, we'll get started then, of course. We're starting on the 10th of June, aren't we? So yeah, less than 40 days to go, like I say. And every, everything's pretty much booked now, other than a few park tickets and things that we're sorting out. But all our uh, car hire, the transport sorted, all the hotels are sorted. And yeah, it's, it's going to be absolutely crazy. It doesn't feel real yet. There's still time for it to feel real, but at the minute it still feels like a dream. When we're there, we're on the plane, we're on our way to Dallas. That is when we're going to know that trip can be good. And that's the one. So Dallas, yeah, the 10th of June we're going to be flying there. We're not doing any parks or anything that day. We're just sort of picking up the car, going into the centre of Dallas. And the first park we'll be visiting will be on the 11th of June. And that will be Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. So, yeah, on the 11th of June, that'll be the first park straight in uh, down in Texas. So we debated many different ways of doing the trip. We thought maybe starting up in, like, New York and working our way down. Then we thought, no, we're going to start in Texas. And it's like the race to New York, isn't it? That was the whole yeah. point of... The this whole trip has been based around a joke of Jimmy Fallon's <laughs> race to New York. Because I said to Sean, wouldn't it be great that if we are doing a race to New York just like Jimmy Fallon did? And look, look at what's happening now. Thank you, Universal. <laughs> and that's what much. we're doing. Park <laughs> hours, not too bad on that first day. 10.30 a.m. until 9 p.m. for park hours. That was a good start. So very good there start. There we are. The second part we're doing also down in Texas, Six Flags over Texas. And that will be on the 12th of June for that one. And again, park hours are uh, quite short for that, really. 10.30 until Seven. It's not a very long day that one, is it? It's, no. uh, but it's going to stand us in good stead for when we then leave Texas and we move up into America a little bit more, right into the heart, when we go to a park that I think I'm quite excited yes. to talk about, Silver Dollar City. I am so excited to visit this I'm sure Sean is, Sean is too. Uh, park opening hours on that one. Again, earlier start, but very early finish on this one. 9.30 till 7 p.m. in the evening. So again, quite a short uh, closing time, but oh, a very wow. early start. But it's going to be interesting. Just say as well, the date for that, the 13th of Sorry, June of course, for that yeah, one. Definitely. For Silver Dollar City, 13th of June. Yeah, like Alex said, very excited. Would have kind of liked two days there, really. Yes. But I think we will be able to see as much as we can and get the highlights I on that. I think it's important this is a whistle-stop tour. So any yeah. parks that you're thinking, wow, they're only doing one day there, it is just to give us a little bit of a taste so we know if we want to go back and get Don't worry, picture. I'm worried too. Like, you know, some of these, <laughs> like Silver Dollar City, honestly. It's going to be a race to try and appreciate it. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Then on the 14th of June, we're then going to go to Worlds of Fun, which is going to be exciting. I look forward to Worlds of Fun. But I've got to say, Worlds of Fun, I didn't expect very much from the opening hours. And Long then day. I saw <laughs> that on the 14th of June, Worlds of Fun is open for a whole... 12, I can't do 12, 12 yeah. hours, yeah. there we go, I've not got enough fingers yeah. for that one. 10 till 10. Uh, 10 till 10 for the 14th of June, Worlds of Fun, that's fantastic, that's really, really good opening hours. Mm. Kicking that trip off there with a good start. Yeah, so at that point we should be feeling alright because we've had a mix of like park hours that are quite short, a couple that are a bit longer. Really good times. Um, yeah, straight in there on the 15th of June with Six Flags St. Louis, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, so that's going to be a good day, 10.30 till 10 there as well. So right, a couple of long right. days in a row. What you, what we're looking at in front of us here, by the way, is a huge a spreadsheet <laughs> that we put together. What's got everything on, it's got the park, that we've visited on them dates. It's got uh, the end destination for us traveling to that night, <laughs> the miles in between the parks, uh, the journey duration, the states, what they're in, and yeah, it's all together. And I, mean, I, I went OCD mad on this spreadsheet. <laughs> I wanted to get everything color coordinated. And, and it, it's very, very simple, but it's complex in terms of <laughs> what we've actually had to put on there because there is so much information to retain with this trip. It's unreal. A lot. The 16th of June, Holiday World. Ooh. It's only one day that, again, I probably could have spent a couple of days at Holiday World. I know some of you are thinking, hang on a minute, there's not really that much there, so to speak. For me, you've got to think about filming and stuff as well. I get as much enjoyment going to a park and just like getting loads of off-ride shots and things. So, uh, you know, I could probably spend like two or three days at a park when some people could only spend one day there, you know. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Holiday World, hours 10 to 8. So, reasonable hours, I would pretty say. Good, good. Moving on then from that, of course, the next part will be Kings Island on the 17th of June first trip to Kings Island I was very like 
close to it actually uh, last year. Like I say that's why it's my first trip. I was only a few hours away, but unfortunately uh, back then I, I only just passed my driving test, so I couldn't hire a car over there. As I probably would have gone when I went to Cedar. But yeah, Kings Island, all these parks visiting for the first time, other than Cedar Point, and obviously Alex. All of them for the of first course, time. Definitely. Um, yeah, in terms of hours at Kings Island, 10 until 10. So Fantastic. another Hope long hours. 12 hour day. So there's a lot of creds to get there. A lot. I don't know if we're going to get 12 everything. hours, are we going to make it? At this point, I think we're going to start to feel it a little bit now. Mm. I feel like we've had a couple of late working weekend. hours. But I have got to say that this one's going to be special to me. I know you've already been there. I know you really, really love it. We then get two days, which is the 16th yes. and uh, sorry, the 18th and 19th. Oh, <laughs> two, gosh. <laughs> a lot of stuff, really. There's a lot. 18th and 19th of June, Sean and I are going to be spending not one, but two days at Cedar Point. Now, Cedar Point, Sean uh, will sit here oh, and talk about Cedar it. Point all day. This is why I'm doing this one, because I know he'll go on about <laughs> Steel Vengeance, Top the Little Dragster, and all that all day. But both days are there, the uh, 18th and 19th of June. The park is open 10 till 10, both days, two 12 hour days. We've got 24 hours at Cedar Point. Uh, riding. Like and we are, gonna, we are gonna make the most of that, aren't we, whilst we're there yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Like Alex says, so many bucket list rides that I enjoy getting on, but I'll get as much enjoyment watching Alex's first reactions to some of those as well. And the so. bruises are gonna start to set in at this point <laughs> on my legs from riding steel vents Yeah, it's, well, it's an so. intense one, but it's a good fun one. If we're not bruised by this point already. So but then we're off out. to what is probably my most anticipated part Excellent. of the entire trip where we're also going to be spending two days on the 20th and the 21st of June we'll be at Dollywood. Woo! Very excited for getting to Tennessee and of course seeing Dollywood, the area surrounding it as well. We're going to try and fit in some of the alpine coasters and stuff. Worth pointing out, we're listing off the main parts that we're going to, but we're hoping if there's, we've got a bit of time outside of them park hours to get a few bits in local, yeah. especially around Pigeon Forge that's got a lot of different attractions. Uh, but yeah, Dollywood can't wait for that. In terms of opening hours, 10 to 8, so reasonable hours, and it means at 8 o'clock we can go out and see a bit of the local area as well. A lot to explore, we believe, in Pigeon mm. Forge. It's a little bit like International Drive in Orlando where there's a lot of different leisure complexes. So there's going to be a bit of a nightlife mm -hmm. to go into that park too as well, which we look forward to. Yeah, can't uh, wait. And then straight on to the 22nd of June, we are going to Six Flags Over Georgia. That is the 22nd of June, Six Flags Over Georgia. And the park there... It's got some pretty good opening yeah, hours, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, like, uh, 10 till 10 again, another 12 hour day, Six Flags Over Georgia. Obviously some really, really big rides there too, a part that we're very much looking forward to visiting. Um, you know, by this point we will already have done three other Six Flags parks, I believe. I think I said that around four. We've already done, this will be our fourth <laughs> on the trip. Wow, so oh. at this point we're going to be quite familiar with Six Flags. Um, so it's going to be really, really quite exciting to uh, see what that park has to offer. Woo. Bring it on. And then 23rd of June, this is the one that a lot of people are getting hyped about us visiting. I've had a lot of people message me on Instagram saying you guys are going to absolutely love this park and I'd have no reason to doubt you at all. We are going to Carowinds Amusement Park, uh, very, very excited on the 23rd of June and it's good to say that Carowinds is, I'm just reading across, yeah it is, it's another 12 <laughs> it's hour day. Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, 12 hour day again because 12 hours, 10 till 10, we are at Carowinds. That's going to be absolutely incredible. Can't wait to get on the new ride as well, uh, Copperhead Strike. Whoop, whoop. Up next then we're going to be going to Busch Gardens Williamsburg and that'll be on the 24th of June. So at this point we're quite a way into the trip now, uh, over halfway through the trip. So, you know, in terms of hours wise, what are we getting here? Uh, 10 until 9 o'clock at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. So quite a long day. However, this is another part that I really wanted to do two days at, but these things happen don't they like alex said it's a bit of a, a taster in a way we're going to try and get as much in but if we don't it's not the end of the world see how we get on yeah, there's, see a, how there's we get. a lot of rides to ride a lot of park space to cover so mm. let's see how much we can get through it all definitely the 25th of june will be at king's dominion so I'm looking forward to that that's 10 30 till 10 so that's another what 11 and a half hour day for that one <laughs> looking forward to the park there's a lot of stuff there that i can't wait to see and of course see it for the first time as well definitely on to the 26th of june we then head to Kennywood, yes. Kennywood Amusement Park. Cannot wait to go there, very, very excited. Uh, just to break down the hours again for you, another 10.30 till 10 o'clock. So another great opening day there, um, 26th of June. Gonna be a new park, but new interest. I think that's the wrong yeah. theme here. There's a lot of new stuff to see, but gonna be really, really It's fantastic. gonna be amazing, honestly. The first reactions, it's gonna be like when we go to a park for the first time. Like me and Martin in Mirabolandia in Italy the other week, we went there and we just had a, a full vlog full of excitement seeing everything for the first time. It's gonna be that, but all the like 19 times back over back like back it's back gonna back be back absolutely back, yeah. crazy it'll be the best content we've ever made at theme ball worldwide and guarantee that now and i don't know if there's anything
anything else that will top it after this, I'll be honest. And the, one, the one thing that's worth mentioning, and we are going to come on to this quite nicely just here now, as much as this is a US road trip, we ain't just touching the United States yes. of America. We are going to move ourselves up past New York straight into Canada. We are actually going to go to Canada and, very, very excited, calm down, Sean, before I say it, <laughs> we are going to go to Canada's Wonderland. That is on the 27th of June. Sean and I will be in Canada at Canada's Wonderland. The park there is going to be open from 10 till 8, so not Short too bad about now. But then, because we've only got one night in Canada, we are going to try and explore as much of uh, Ontario and stuff as we can, try and see the Niagara areas. Falls and stuff. Of course, that's, that's going to be very, very, very special. Um, very unique experience for both of us, and it's something we managed yeah. to kind of squeeze into the trip because we thought it wasn't originally planned. No, it at wasn't. All. But we thought we could squeeze it in, and you know, we squeezed like nineteen other parks. In as well. When we saw Yukon Striker, I think that was like, yeah, I'd like to go and ride it. Point. As much as it looks a bit slow, but I'll oh, leave it, okay. Know. We'll leave him to his opinion for now. We'll wait till we're on it in a few weeks' time. Let's find out for ourselves. Oh my god, if you wait, honestly, it's getting it's close. A countdown. I know it's getting, it it's getting very, very scary. It's on the twenty eighth of June. Uh, we're going to be at Niagara Falls. So starting the day in Canada before moving back into the US. So uh, like we say, having a little look around the area. Uh, then on the same day, we're going to be visiting Knobles amusement resort. Uh, this is somewhere that I don't really know how long we're going to spend at. Uh, Knobles looks amazing. It's got the only wooden flying turns in the world. It looks absolutely amazing. A really good ghost train, lots of heritage. Um, so I'm not too sure how long we're going to be there, but it's open uh, quite late at Knobles. It's open from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. We're probably going to get there probably mid-afternoon and stay through until the evening at Knobles. So that's the 28th of June. And definitely, one. it was worth mentioning as well that from Niagara Falls in Canada to Knobles in the U.S., and that night, we have also been told that potentially sometimes they do extend opening hours in the evening later mm. if there are guests still riding the ride. So fingers crossed we might get a little bit of extra ride time there. Definitely, Sean. hope uh, so. 29th of June, we are then heading, oh, I can smell the chocolate in the air already. <laughs> Sean and I are heading to Hershey Park. Yep. Very, very different park. Something that I guess we need to do. I feel like we'd be mm. insulting if we didn't visit. I know people either love or hate the park. A little bit like the chocolate. I know you yeah, hate it. Yeah, I never like the chocolate. Uh, that's <laughs> going to be a great one for Sean. I know he absolutely detests that chocolate with all of his life, but I really love it. So, you know, it's going to be a great day for me. But um, the park there, Hershey Park, on the 29th of June, uh, the park is going to be open from 10 a.m. Am I saying that right? Yeah, 10 a.m. till 11 p.m. Wow, that's really good opening. Like 13 a hours. Of We've got a lot of chocolate. coasters to ride there. Coasters. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to see the proper entrance. I, I completely know that. I've been following it a lot. And the entrance at the moment doesn't look great. So our first impressions of that, we'll have to sort of forget the fact that it's a temporary entrance yeah. and get into it that way. Because next year, they're opening Chocolate Town, which is this massive new coaster and entrance and stuff. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be really good to see it. Uh, on the 30th of June, we're then going to be heading to Six Flags Great Adventure. This is another big bucket list park for me for one main, well, two main rides. Of course, King Dakar, the tallest roller coaster in the world, and El Toro as well. Uh, so I can't wait to ride that. Park hours, 10.30 till 10. So we've got a lot of credits to get, but we've got quite a long day a there. Hour, so if we plan things well, we're quite good. You don't want to start at the stuff at the front of the park. Get to the back first and work your way around. Yeah, so true. Very true. Uh, we'll see what happens with that one. Getting towards the end now. 1st of July into a new month Six Flags New England uh, we're going to be there yeah so 1st of July for that one 10.30am until 9pm so don't really know lots about that park it's one of the parks that I've not done much research into I probably will before we go but I've not looked yet at what we can expect other than the coasters so look forward to seeing that one and uh, yeah well there we go we're going to end up there having a bit of time exploring around New York aren't Definitely we so. Um, so that's going to be on the 2nd of July New York we're going to head to Coney Island uh, and go and spend a few hours there because I visited it back in January but obviously it was closed uh, I just went to New York sightseeing thought I may as well go and look at the park uh, so yeah we're gonna head there we're also gonna go to the American Dream Mall uh, to go and ride some coasters there including a near clone of Takabisha uh, that we did over in Japan <laughs> which is indoors yeah, so crazy. that's a bit of a bonus they've not announced opening dates yet it's still not open Fingers crossed it's going to open before we go. If not, it's not the end of the world, no. but we're hoping to get it. So One of the big things to really note about all of this trip, and obviously we've just gone through each park individually on those dates, Sean and I have gone on a lot to see yes. in a very, very short amount of time. And we know that you guys, we've spoken about it so many times, you're going to love our adventures just as much as we're going to love sharing them with you all. Uh, there's a lot to do. Some park days, we've got plenty of time to mm. run around, but have we though, really? I guess, I don't know, you could argue because they are new parks. Yeah. There's a lot to see on a whistle stop tour. And of course, you guys are all going to be coming along for the journey. And Sean and I really wanted to express how much, you know, we are 
loving th this lifestyle. We know we are going to absolutely make the most of every single part. That we're we going to be so tired. <laughs> we are. So you know. expect that you're going to see us genuinely get groggier and groggier as the trip as the trip progresses. You know, there's a lot of things to see, but adrenaline's going to kick in. And Sean and I are really getting prepared for this trip now. It's counting yeah, down those days. And, and, and just following on from what Alex said there as well, I know a lot of you uh, who live out there want to meet up with us, want to come and say hello at the parks. And that's great. It'd be great if you that's are fine. at the park on that day and you want to come and say hello. That's absolutely fine. Just be aware we're not holding any meetups at these nope. parks in terms of an official meet uh, where you, you know you can come along with us for the whole day and uh -huh. meet up. Uh, we've got a lot to get in at these parks. If you want to come and say hello, come and have a photo. Maybe come and join us in a queue line or something. Obviously, we're not going to have the time to stand about for ages out the front of ride uh -huh. entrances and things because this is our big trip. We've wanted to do this for a long time. 100%, 100%. Uh, you know, ever since I first read this coaster book when I was a kid and saw all these bucket list rides I've wanted to do this and we're going to be making the most of every single second Definitely. so yeah just to point out it is not a meet up however if there, you are at one of them parks or a local and want to come down and say hello uh, and give us some support then feel free if you want to come and join us in a queue line or something okay. have a chat whilst we're waiting to go on a ride have a photo on the ride and then of course we'll move on to the next ride and and so forth trying to get everything in so and that's the really really big thing yeah. there's a lot to see in a short amount of time we want to say hello to each and every single one of you that approach us feel free to come and say hello come Definitely. and grab a selfie Sean and I will pull a daft silly face if you really yeah. want us to we'll come and we'll come and join you on the coast if we're in the line come and come and tag along let's get on the ride together you might even want to buy the ride photo afterwards I mean Sean and I we're really worried about how much we're going to be buying on this trip because there's a lot of things to be worth it. in a very very compact amount of time but we love you all and you know very very excited counting down those days to go yeah definitely not want to go like I say less than 40 days just wanted to give you the rundown I know a lot of people have commented asking for dates especially a lot of you that live out there and it would be really nice to see some of you at the parks definitely come along say hello just be prepared we might be quite tired and we will be in quite a bit of a rush to get everything done so please 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 <laughs> bear that in mind we're not locals to these parks uh, if people are coming to, uh, over to Alton Towers I'd expect for them to get on as many rides Definitely. as they can do uh, so please have that respect for us when we are coming over to do these and parks and if you can recommend any good places to get hot dogs or cold milk in the parks come and shout at us let's not Definitely. we want to know we really want to know <laughs> well there you go we will do another preparation video which will go online about a week before the trip uh, where you're actually going to see us doing a few different things uh, preparing for this big trip including like a bit of a packing video putting things together yeah. a bit of preparations uh, about what we're doing to get ready for the I'm trip I'm going to the haircut before yeah. we go as well I think that's <laughs> so that much more already. yeah so that's the plan but thank you very much for joining us for this bit of a rundown of our huge USA road trip that is happening from the 10th of June all the way through until the 2nd of July 2019 one more thing that I want to point out and that is the videos and when they're going to be online obviously this is still something what I don't know myself it, when you film in a vlog it then takes a number of hours to render and edit and then has to be uploaded then has to all the titles and everything has to be put together so it's one of them things isn't it I, I will try my best to get a few videos on whilst I'm out there but uploading to this channel whilst we're on the trip is not the priority from our road trip a lot of it is going to come online when we come back uh, before I go out there I'm still going to be filming lots of stuff to go on whilst we're away uh, but you might not see many of the videos on the channel from the trip until we're back that's just because of how intense this trip is. And I think it, the good thing is as well, you've got to tell yourselves as much as you might not be seeing the vlogs as and when we're doing the park, one thing you've got to think is you're going to have a whole summer of yeah. TP, hashtag TPW USA vlogs coming online. You're going to have a whole summer. It's probably going to be like six weeks worth so of vlogs. You're going to have your school holidays just to sit yeah. there and through the vlogs, sat outside, you know, <laughs> drinking your pina coladas or your cold milk or eating your hot dogs, whatever you're doing. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait. Bring it on. It is. Well, there you are. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you a week before the trip when we're going to sit down again and, uh, yeah, do a few more fun things to get us prepared for this trip. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And, Alex, I think we're pretty much prepared. Like, everything to has come together. You know, all the hotels are booked in between. You're going to see that in travel videos as we go throughout the trip so obviously you'll see that on the channel as and when in terms of where we're staying I think we could have some interesting moments in some of these so. hotels we've kept it very budget we're not staying anywhere fancy other than at Cedar Point oh, as you'll course. find out we'll find but, all uh, you know, spoilers coming uh, soon other than that we're not staying anywhere fancy no. so uh, yeah we're going to be staying in some pretty there's gonna interesting be some laughs, places I think. yeah there's going to be some laughs but <laughs> hashtag TPW USA yes. get involved get interactive with us on, on social media we want to see your guys thoughts what you think of this crazy Absolutely nuts trip that Sean and I are doing. Strata trip. It's a strata, strata trip. trip. Strata or strata, whatever you say. Like north or south, whatever. <laughs> there we are. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video here on Theme Park Worldwide. That means it's time to cue those credits. See you all soon.